Hello friends, welcome again. Uh, in this lecture, uh, we are going to see how I can create a separate volume and add to this instance which I have just created. Okay. And uh, previously we have seen how I could uh, uh, add a volume which uh, created uh, as a uh, volume from an image. But now what I'm going to do is just create a very fresh uh, volume without any image in it and add it to my existing instance. So go forward and uh, click volume. And uh, uh, so here I have already a one volume, just uh, I want to delete it. And okay, there is uh, now it is clear. So uh, go ahead and create a volume and uh, call a uh, dem data data volume for my data okay just uh, some description uh, volume source previously uh, i have given image and now i want to just create a just an empty volume okay there is uh, you can choose uh, no or you can choose uh, any uh, no volume type or nfs i just uh, choose nfs and let me uh, create a 10 gig of uh, size the volume and availability zone just uh, the default one just take it and uh, create a volume and you see now it is uh, the volumes available and it is 10 gig in size now uh, I have the instance running now, uh, which is just I created sent uh, OS GUI, and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just add this. Uh, um, I can add a volume to this one. Um, just uh, um, go to the volume and uh, manage attachment instance type choose the CentOS GUI which is running and attach the volume just attach it you see now it has been uh, previously available and now it is uh, status it changed to in use and attached to this and what is the uh, path to this volume is slash dev vdb okay now go to the instance, open it, open the console. Now a, we, if you remember, we are running a uh, graphical user interface here, right? So I have already uh, logged in as demo user. Uh, the password is demo at the rate one, two, three, right here. Uh, so open. Uh, the terminal right okay i have logged in as root here so um let it be or you you can exit okay now open a terminal a new terminal log in as a super user or a root and a password is r o t at the rate one two three and given Okay, what happened? So, R O O D R O D at the rate one two three. Okay, now I have logged in as super user. Now, uh, I can actually check uh, whether uh, the volume has been attached or not using a command ls v l k the block. Actually, now uh, these volumes are block volumes okay so you see that uh, the primary disk which is 20 gb for the image for the sent voice image is 20 gig and with just now which i added the vdb is 10 uh, 10 gig file right this is vdb you can uh, see actually uh, minus l and uh, just to be 
you see this the path full path right and so it is the minus a div vdb this is the volume and it is very pretty much empty there is nothing inside because there is no file system it is just a raw disk right now what i have to do is i have to format first that disk how to format f disk and what is the give the path div which we saw previously what is that vdb right so uh, f disk div vdb okay so this is the um, device you want to format or uh, this is the disk which is a raw disk right you can uh, just type aim for help to see all the options okay here if you see to create a new uh, partition we need to have n that is a new new partition if you see this add a new partition so create a new partition on the raw disk enter n and press enter to create a primary uh, partition we need to enter p so this is a primary partition just press p and enter and the partition number by default is one just press enter the first sector by default and the last sector is by default it is the last sector available for the disk so just press enter so because i have to take the whole disk now uh, it has been set but it has not been written to the disk yet unless you say so uh, for that you need to enter w that is uh, write that table to the disk and exit so now press w and enter so now it has been written to the disk and now if you check again lsb alpha minus p if you see that there is another partition created that is in the raw disk ftb1 sorry vdb1 slash dev vdb1 is the new partition that is also 10 gig okay inside 10 that is 10 that means the whole disk has been taken and partition as only one single partition okay now uh we have to mount this partition to our file system so first thing is we have to create a file system on it we are just partitioned the disk but we have not created a file system yet for that there is a command mkfs you just uh, press the tab if you see the options so ext4 is the type of file system we want to create ext4 so mkfs.ext4 and minus a is l is labeling uh, you want to give a label to it so i call it my data as the label i want to give and okay and uh, to where uh, the def pd p1 right you can just say yes one so this is the vdb is the vdb1 is the partition and we want to label that partition as um, slash my data and press enter okay so now the file system ext4 has been created now i can mount it to my file system so Class. you see this is the, this is my file system here you can in fact see it here itself okay and uh, this is the device we just created uh, but uh, this has been uh, not we I have not mount mounted yet right so now just write mount and where to mount the dev vdb1 to where I have to okay uh, first thing is I have to uh, create the mkdir slash my data okay now this is the uh, just a directory created on the root file system and now mount 
plus div bdb1 to the newly created directory mount okay that's all now you see the my data and just ls vlk minus p if you see still yes it is showing and it has been mounted to my data okay mount point here if you see that slash save vdb is my data if you key my data you can use it as your own desk or something for the storing any data which you want to just uh, save it after deleting the instance or terminating the instance so here uh, if you just look that uh, this is the instance and I have now added this uh, the volume and that is a data volume 10 gig and it has been attached now if I same stuff save some file to the volume th that is to the slash my data directory if I save anything on that okay this is my data if I save anything here it is uh, going to be stored in the volume and after deletion or uh, termination of the instance still I will be able to use those uh, data which I saved in that volume this is the way you can actually um, uh, save your data for future use and now <clears throat> now uh, let's uh, check it open in terminal because I just not given path so I have to go to again uh, okay to the super user okay I have already uh, I'm here all right okay here okay um, just create a file now call to a file um, my file dot txt okay get my file okay load data directory so this is the file so even if after uh, deletion of this instance i'll be able to save my file dot txt because this data is actually present in the volume but not in the instance okay so this is if i terminate this instance then still i'll be able to retrieve my data volume and i can attach this volume to a newly created instance afterwards to extract the data whatever i have saved that is like oh, my file that txt so with this we uh, finish this lesson uh, of uh, uh, creating a data volume and adding to the instance so uh, see you in the next lecture thanks for watching